I set out to capture the special relationship created between the band and a local high school where three of the victims attended. For the first time ever in The Who, the night that changed rock, Roger Daltrey and Pete Townshend shared their raw feelings, and they did not hold back with me about how that night affected them over the past four decades. Here's an exclusive sneak peek at this groundbreaking special. Our journey to interview The Who took us 2,400 miles away from Cincinnati to Seattle, Washington. The band was wrapping up the final leg of its Move On tour. Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend, and longtime manager Bill Kerbishley thought it was time to sit down and talk about the night that changed rock 40 years ago. Did it change you what happened? Well, it must have done in some ways, but that's subliminal, you know. Of course it does. Um, but you can't, you can't put a finger on any particular way, no. For 40 years, the band members have carried in their hearts the loss of 11 young lives in Cincinnati before one of their shows. All of the victims died of asphyxiation, crushed by the crowd trying to get inside the Coliseum for festival seating, meaning no assigned seats. You know, one of the reasons maybe why the scar has been tricky is because, wow, you know, this is the first conversation in depth that we've had about this ever. So, you know, maybe now the scar will heal a little bit. Now they're ready to heal and share how this tragedy affected rock and roll culture and them personally. Talking about it is definitely a healing process. Um, I think that talking about it here and knowing that it's going to go back to Finneytown, to Cincinnati as a whole, adds another layer for me to the healing process. Three of the 11 victims attended Finneytown High School. Stephen Preston, Jackie Eckerly, and Karen Morrison are now remembered with the PEM Memorial at Finneytown, something near and dear to the band. The people of Finneytown need to be applauded for not letting go of the memory of those people that, that, that didn't make it that night. I think mean, it's really good. Survivors from Finneytown also shared their stories that night. I think it's more uh, traumatic to me than anything I've ever been around. I've watched people die in a hospital bed and I felt peace with that. This, there was no rhyme or reason for me to understand why this had to happen. And family members of lives lost remember their loved ones. Jackie was a social butterfly. Yes. She was the youngest. She was our baby sister. I think what was very hard, it was such a freak accident, a freak accident that that was hard to digest. It was hard to understand that you could be waiting in line for a concert and die. Personal perspectives from so many affected by the events of December 3rd, 1979, come together for the first time on television, right here on WCPO. We hope you'll join us for this historic hour of television. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.